Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, we're going to install RStudio, the free version, on a Chromebook. But first, if you like videos where I show you how to install software on Chromebook and Windows and how to use that software, make sure to subscribe. Okay, with that out of the way, let's install RStudio. The first thing you need to do is go over to your launcher here, and once you click on that, you want to search for Settings. And click on your settings and then on the left hand side here you'll see this advanced tab you will click to expand that and if you scroll on down you can see developers click on developers then click turn on okay this will create a wizard that will allow you to set up the Linux development environment I'll click next It'll give you a username based off of your email, I believe. Uh, make sure you like that username because I don't think you can change that later. The disk size, it will give you a recommended disk size. That can be changed later. Um, so you, could, you don't have to worry as much about that. I'm going to keep both as is and click install. And that's going to take a few moments. So I'll let that run and come on back once that's done. Okay, once the Linux development environment is enabled, a terminal will pop up. I'm going to click to maximize this, and I'm going to increase the font size so you can see what I'm doing. And I want to make sure everything's up to date. So I'm going to type sudo apt get update, and then two ampersands for and, and then sudo apt get dist dash upgrade. And I'm going to do a dash y to answer yes to the additional space. I'm going to hit enter to run. And this will take a few moments, so I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, now that the Linux development environment is enabled, we want to first install R before we install RStudio. To do that, we'll type sudo apt get install R base and R dash base R dash base dash dev and hit enter. It's going to ask us to use some additional space. I'm going to confirm with Y and then hit enter. Okay, once R is installed, we can open up a new browser window and let's search for R Studio. Okay, and we'll get this posit.co page here. And we can download R Studio, so click on that. And we're going to do R Studio Desktop. That's uh, there's R Studio Desktop and R Studio Desktop Pro. We want just R Studio Desktop. So we're going to click download. We've installed R, okay. And now we want to install R Studio. So we want to scroll down, and we're going to go for the Ubuntu 20 Debian 11. Um, at the time of this recording, I'm using Debian 11, so want to select that one. Uh, I have an Intel slash AMD based Chromebook, so it works on this. For an ARM based Chromebook, this may not work. I don't have one, so I can't speak to that. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and download this. Okay, once that downloads, we can click Show in Folder, or you can go to your Downloads folder. And I'm going to right click and install with Linux. And I'm going to click Install and OK. Let's go ahead. This might take a minute or two to install. OK, once that's installed, you can either launch it from here or if you want to go here and find the icon either by searching for RStudio or sometimes you'll just see it like here. I'm going to pin it to the shelf and then click to launch. And here you go. Uh, RStudio is now installed on a Chromebook and you can begin uh, using RStudio right from here. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a like. Thank you.